Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here at Mega Space in the ESDA R35 here to run some practice qualifying runs. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of you found in the description box below. So we're going to run this as a mock qualifying. We're going to run two runs and we're going to go take a look at the replay. We are in a private online session. So we have full tire and everything like that as we would in ESDA. I believe all of you are to watch ESDA for Saturday's battle in the description box. I'll be in the next couple of videos to attend the practice and everything as well. Getting ready for Saturday's competition. So like I said, we're going to run this, digress our run, and see what we can do. And we're going to do it in two run sections and hopefully we can get a good solid qualifying run here. Trying to get our tires a bit warmed up. And uh, a bit grippy. So let's do this full send. First one of today's mock qualifying. take a look at the actual replay kind of a uh, little bit of a wall tap causing a little bit of issues so we definitely would have zeroed that run I was hoping it could hold on to it so we're gonna go for our second qualifying run technically here for this round and then we'll go take a look at the replays or we'll do two more and then we'll go take a look at all four runs warm tires we're gonna go again hopefully we can do this one better Pits, get some fresh tires, and we're gonna go try two more, and then we'll take a look at the replays. We got fresh tires. Gotta make sure we get our tires nice and warm for the first run because they definitely need to have warm tires in order to get this to probably know how I want it to. If you notice on the second run, they're a little bit more gripped up, so I need to remember that if we run them in succession or like that, and I have warm tires. Definitely need to make sure there. I'm aware of the grip change, so we're gonna get the rears up to where I want them to, and we're gonna do two more practice qualifying runs. Let's see what we can do. Port of car of that course was good. The beginning, a little bit shaky on entry. Entry is something I definitely need to get dialed in and practice a little more on, but I do have a few days more of practice before qualifying, so 
hopefully we'll be able to dial it in a little bit better. May need to do a little bit of a grip change and stuff like that because we're going to check the setting because we did make a fine tune to the settings on last practice and I don't know if I actually have that set. So we may have to go adjust our grip load and maybe run two more because we may not be at our first perfect tune. So second one of the second set. bit of bobble towards the end but probably the better of all the runs we've run so far so, so first run out of the first replay I believe we had a very shaky initiation we were a little bit closer to the wall than I wanted to be going in initiation not too terrible initiation could have been a little bit quicker I feel pretty good on that just one tire hitting the rumbles right there we were almost on the wall we kept it middle of that zone keeping it coming off right at the right time though hard flick there kind of modulating through that section but able to pull ourselves in there so that wasn't too bad overall that wasn't too bad i think this is where we get screwed a little bit of a wall tap there which sends us off course and once i hit those rumbles it picked the back end of the car up and caused me to completely lose control so that would definitely be a zero unfortunately so the second run of that first set probably would have gotten us some points on the board so let's see the initiation well before the cones right there kind of a little hiccup and a bobble there had to get off throttle which is not good right, really good on that front clip a little bit could have gone deeper there and a little deeper there there was a slight bobble there and then the wall hit which threw us offline so i was able to pull it back in i wouldn't have zeroed and then we were able to bring the car out really nicely on that wall, hung that out probably a little bit longer than I should have, and we just, because of that, we came up short in that other clip. So, this run would have given us points on the board. So at least given us some points on the board, but would it have been enough to qualify for 32? I do not think so. So the next set, we did have some better runs. So let's take a look at these. So ESDA, definitely a very competitive environment. We gotta get the nerves and just qualifying runs down before tomorrow evening. That initiation was good, except for that bobble there. That hiccup and that bit of having a break probably wouldn't have been not a zero, but in a tandem aspect that could have caused some issues for sure. We were managed to get pretty much out into that zone. And then the transition right there was great on the zone. Getting out to the wall stayed a little less angled because I thought I was going to smack the wall. But we managed to stay in line and right deep on that wall, putting us almost in perfect proximity to that. Right on the third hash there and very well on the ending. So later part of that course of that run was way better and probably a very solid run. So the second section of that second set of runs, as you can see, we're just going through these, kind of just getting a feel for it so you guys can kind of see the trials and tribulations of this. The initiation here was much better. Little grass clip, but we got into the zone where we needed to. We were pretty great on that. Just one tire in the rumbles, which is allowed. Hard transition there. Pretty deep in this zone. A little quick steering bobble and a little throttle control to keep from the grass, but overall that was not a terrible entry. We could have gotten into that other zone a little bit sooner, but overall this is probably the best of the four runs coming in through this section. Nice high angle, high speed. A little bit of a flub there, but enough to keep ourselves in angle. So overall, not too terrible of a run. And when I say I want to take a look at the one zone, so the initiation was pretty good. We got in great. So there was one section where I said we should have gotten a little bit deeper out. And that is... We 
could have gotten a little deeper there. This run we could have gone a little deeper than the wall, but we managed to get out. And where I'm talking, we should have gotten deeper is this transition right here. So I think we are literally only one tire. Yeah, we're just one tire in, which is not not the worst. It could be a whole lot worse. But we definitely want to get the car all the way out there. And we were able to bring the car nice and deep through there, scraping the wall. So things I'm going to be working on the next, you know, times and testings and things like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which found in the description box below. Next time I will be doing some tandem testing as well as getting on with Christmas and helping me digress some runs. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.